Hey, we got on the line with us right now, Buffalo Bills sixth round draft pick out of Oregon State, Isaiah Hodgins uh, joining us now. Isaiah, John Murphy, Steve Tasker here uh, with the Bills. Welcome to the show. Glad to have you on today. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me. Are you in uh, Corvallis or are you in uh, where you grew up in San Jose, I guess, right? Where do you hang out these yeah. days? Yeah, I'm in uh, in the East Bay in California right now. Okay. Tell us about uh, last Saturday getting drafted sixth round by the Bills. What went through your mind when you got picked by Buffalo? Uh, I was excited, man. I, I talked a lot to Buffalo before the uh, combine, at the combine, and then post combine as well. So I had a good feeling about them. And, you know, when they called, um, you know, I was excited. I know that they already have one player there from Morgan State, Jordan Poyer, who I knew well. So you know, I was excited to get up there and work with some people. What uh, what contact have you had with uh, the Bills so far? I know the virtual stuff might have started already. You might have jumped in on that. Tell us a little bit about what contact you've had since the draft. Yeah, just um, a lot of virtual meetings, you know, uh, Zoom calls and trying to get the playbook down and everything. Uh, talked to a lot of guys who, you know, all the rookies, so, you know, Gabe Davis and Jake Fromm and everybody, and talked to some of the vets too who have been reaching out. So it gives me a real family atmosphere, and that's what I love about it so far. So, you know, I have a real good feel for the team already. Gabe Davis came in the fourth round. You came two rounds later. But you two are going to be linked a lot, I would think, especially early on in your NFL career. Just – both wide receivers coming in the same draft to the same team, right? You're probably going to probably better get used to being thrown in the same sentence, I would think, huh? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, he, he's a cool dude for sure. And, you know, I'm definitely bonded with him very well so far, and he's smart and definitely a good uh, athlete. So, you know, it's going to be fun working with him. What do scouts and coaches talk about when they talk about you, Isaiah? Do they, you know, they your size, your hands, your route running? What are your strengths that, that they say, wow, this guy's really good at, at this? What do they say? Yeah, um, I would definitely say my hands. You know, multiple coaches and players have told me that, you know, just uh, being a sure-handed player who comes down with everything and catching those contested balls and those jump balls and everything, and then just um, being a technician route runner. And, you know, I try to pride myself on that, especially for being a big guy. And, you know, I think it's really important to be able to run routes and separate and be able to, um, you know, get off the ball and get off the press. So, you know, that's just something I'm always consistently working on. Live on the line with Bill's six-round pick, Isaiah Hodgins. Uh, Isaiah, you said you knew Jordan Poyer before you were drafted, right? And you have talked with him since the Bills picked you. What, what did he have to say? Yeah, uh, he just FaceTimed me and texted me a little bit, just welcomed me to the team. And, you know, if I had any questions or any concerns or anything that, you know, uh, he's got me and, you know, I can ask him anything. So he's kind of played, you know, just like that veteran role for me to kind of help me out and welcome me into the team. So he's been he's been a good help. Yeah, I was going to ask you, one of the things, you came out into year 2020, it seems like there's 60 gazillion wide receivers in this draft, Isaiah. What? What? It's it still got to feel good, though, to be picked with a bunch of guys. Uh, it, it was a strong class. You're a part of it. Uh, but still, it had to get a little frustrating when you saw other guys picked and you had to kind of wait your turn to be t- drafted. What, what was going through your mind when you saw those guys getting picked up and you knew there was a ton of guys in your class? Yeah. Uh, you know, it's definitely a little frustrating when you're sitting there and just um, seeing the other guys um, get picked before you and your name, not getting called and everything. But, you know, I knew that God had a plan. And I stayed faithful, and he would let me go to the perfect team that he wanted me to go to. So, you know, I just uh, had to try to sit there and stay level-headed, and I got that phone call, and I was blessed to have it. You know, there's some people who never get a phone call or never get drafted at all. So regardless of what round, I know it was just an opportunity in the door. And whether you're first round or sixth round, you still have to go make the team and you still have to go compete and produce during the season. So that's what I plan on doing. I'm on the line with Isaiah Hodgins, a Bills six-round draft pick. Isaiah, you've been around the NFL for a while. Your father won a Super Bowl with the Rams, a blocking back for Marshall Falk. Uh, what kind of influence has your father had on you, and what do you recall about your dad's NFL career? Uh, he has a huge influence, and he's definitely helped me a lot. Uh, helped me out a lot during this process, and you know, just kind of preparing me of what the NFL is like, what to expect, you know, how you know it's a business and how things are done. So he's definitely helped me just with the ins and outs of the games, and just kind of preparing me my whole life for this moment. One of your t- college teammates, Jake. Jake Lutton, your quarterback at Oregon State, he's now with the Jaguars. Have you had a chance to reach out and talk with Jake about his experience with the with the Jaguars? Yeah, actually I have, and um, he's super excited to go over there too, and you know, I'm super excited for him, and I knew he would get picked up somewhere. He's, just a, he's a smart dude, real talented, so I know he's going to tear it up over there. Isaiah, I know one of the reasons why the Bills liked you and, and probably why they drafted you was 
your red zone production, uh, 20 touchdowns in your career for Oregon State. Uh, can you talk about that and how a guy your size is especially value when you get down near the goal line like that? Yeah, um, I just try to use my size to my advantage, as you said. And, you know, I can use out on uh, fade balls and, you know, just going to track the ball and kind of putting it up and letting me get an opportunity. Or, you know, sometimes guys automatically think fade, and that's when I try to use my technique and route running to, you know, break to a post or a slant or something like that and, you know, try to give them a little shake at the top. And just being a – having a lot of illusion to my game and a lot of head stakes, shoulder movements, and, you know, just trying to make the most out of, you know, my body and my size and take advantage of it. What are some of the things they've got you doing virtually for the Bills? I know it's just a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of sitting and looking at a computer screen and, and having meetings and that kind of thing. What else have they, have they kind of tried to get a handle on for you rookies about you know, what you can do, what you can't do, your workouts, uh, and learning the offense or defense respectively? What, what, kind of, what kind of, what's it look like on these virtual football days? Yeah. Um, I mean, as you said, it, you pretty much got it down. It's a lot of just looking at the – you know, iPad or computer or whatever you're on and just um, trying to get this playbook down. And, you know, they can't really tell you, you know, what to do too much or anything like that. So, um, you know, it could get a little bit hard sometimes, but, you know, you just got to find a way, whether it's in your backyard or garage, to, you know, stay active, stay working out, um, get moving and stuff, and then just continue to study a lot. You know, football is a huge mental game. If you don't know what you're doing, then, you know, you can't play. So I think being in that playbook and getting these virtual meetings out is huge. Yeah, I mean, Sean McDermott told us yesterday that the motto is find a way. I guess you're just trying to find a way. Isaiah, thank you very much for finding a way to be on the air with us today. We appreciate it. Thanks, Isaiah. Yeah, appreciate you guys. Thank you.